Oh, now you're watching the random idiot. I'm gonna show you how to do a quick thing in Audacity. Very neat, no that's for them there healing frequencies and all that good stuff right there. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Audacity and we're gonna go right up into the menu bar here. You're gonna notice there's a button called Generate. Now, if you don't have Audacity, you might want to go up there and, you know, be on your by the, by the website and you might want to download it. So, go ahead and do that real quick. And then, when you get done doing that, you can unpause this here video and keep on watching. Because I know you're watching this and I know you're laughing at my voice and you're sitting there saying, Man, that guy's a hillbilly, but we're just going to continue on with what we're doing. So, here we go. So, now you're going to click on Generate. And you're going to go down to Tone, and you're going to click all up on Tone, and you'll notice a new track comes up. That's a good thing. You want to go on over here, and for this for this specific session, I'm going to type in uh, 639 for the frequency right there. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a, 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 a what most people call meditation frequency. Now, me personally, I just like the tone myself, but this is what we're going to do, so... We're going to go down here, and we're going to go down to the duration, and I like 10 minutes, so I usually type in 600 seconds, and that'll pull it up to about 10 minutes, so then we click OK, and you'll see that it begins to generate here, and if you want to cancel that, you can. I don't know why you'd want to, because that would completely screw everything up, but it's your choice, really, what you want to do. So I usually go down to Project Rate. And I always go down to 9,600. I'm sorry, 96,000. It's the hillbilly and me speaking. Alright, so there you go. That's how you do it. If you want to know how to export the file, you just go to File and you just go down to Export. And when you export it, you want to export it as an MP3. And I usually go to Options, and this is these are my settings here. You can go ahead and pause the video and study it and take notes for a bit if you want, but... I don't see the point in that. So then I just name it, for example, uh, 639, and then I just put Hertz right there because, you see, that's the frequency that I just made. So then you just save it right there, and you'll notice a bunch of options come up. I'm not going to mess with that right now, but I'll show you how to do all that later. If you don't know, for you there, dumb folk. So then you click on the OK button, and you'll notice that another box pops up. I usually just go with... 48,000 sample rates. And I don't know what that means, but I usually go with the highest because I think it sounds better. So I just click OK, and then you'll see a box pop up telling you that it's exporting the entire file at 320 kbps. And then you're just going to wait for it to do that. And then when it's done, you'll notice that the file will pop up on your desktop. And I'll let you see that real quick, because I know some of you dumb folk will be like, well, you know, hey, Matt, uh, guess what? Funny thing, the box closed, I don't see no file. Well, that's just because you're a stupid hillbilly like me, so I'm just going to show you exactly how to do it. So give this just a minute here, let this just, you can skip ahead of this part if you want to. I'm not even going to say anything important until it's done. So here we go, you'll notice it's done. I'll just go up here and minimize the window. You might not want to close the window just yet. You know, in case you uh, youngins there want to do any crazy crap with your sound. So there it is right there in your desktop. And you might say, hey Matt, well you know, it doesn't look like this. My desktop doesn't look like this. Well, there you go, you don't have bump top. So stop your complaining and get on with your life. I'm not sharing my file with you. So you can't install it from me. Go search it up in Google. Anyway, so that was my tutorial on how to use Audacity and and create a sound file like a tone at, at, at like a certain frequency, and it, it it just works so well, so much better than going and looking for these frequencies yourself and downloading them off of say YouTube or or something like that. So. You know, you guys should just just leave me a comment and tell me what you think, and I'll get back to you. Alright, y'all take care.